So if one of our tactics is to make others aware that we exist, one way is to pin other people's content. Well, that'll take us only so far, because I don't want to give free advertising to other people that much. I want the opposite, however. I want my stuff, my pins, to get repinned and all of that. Well, one thing that we can do besides uh, pinning other people's content is, as you look at someone's pins, um, you know, you can click, you can view the pin, and then below it, you also have the option um, to to comment. This account has not been. Uh, this email that I set up uh, is fake, so I can't confirm my account on Pinterest. But once you do confirm your your email on Pinterest, you get a few extra options, such as the ability to comment on people's posts. Uh, so you know, I'm going to try to comment, and it'll say perhaps you don't have, you haven't been verified. So that's another way to um, get attention. Instead of pinning other people's things, you can be active, just like I've mentioned for the other networks. You comment, and you'll be able to see what other people have also commented. So those are accounts that you can go to to go see, you know, to interact with them. That's for repurposed. I'm going to go back to the Pinterest homepage here. This is the stuff about the their their content. Let's talk about your own original content. You'll see at the top right corner this little plus button. We have two ways to do this. Upload image, save from site. We'll do one then the other. We'll do upload image. This is a this is a te testing account. It's a fake account, and I've got a few sample pictures that you can use if you'd like. But obviously, this method works by having a picture you want to upload. Hover over the plus and select upload image. Uh, choose a pin and a destination. So it's going to expect some sort of picture. In our sample pictures, you can borrow one right here. If you click upload image. On the left side, at the very top on the left panel, you can go to Libraries, and then Pictures, Sample Pictures. So none of these probably really relate to your business, but you can borrow it for the purposes of learning how this works. So it's going to let you upload a picture one at a time. You don't really create an album. You don't upload three pictures at once. The album is the board. So you have to upload one at a time and they all go to the same board. Let's say I'm just going to choose any picture which doesn't really apply to my business, but I'm going to choose these tulips. Click open. That'll be uploaded in a moment. And then also optional which I would recommend not to skip this. It's optional, but don't skip it. You have the option to link the website to your pin. If I don't select any destination, this pin goes into the Pinterest system, and it's a bit of a dead end. People see it, they can like it and all of that, but it doesn't do anything more than just look nice. If you add a destination URL, people will see your pin and then have the ability to click to go to your website. That's going to be better than just uploading your picture as a dead end. So that assumes you have a website. And so here I'm uploading a picture about some sort of product I'm selling. And there will be a link attached to my picture to guide people back to my site. And I probably mentioned it a little bit before, but let me go into more detail here. I could do this. This is another link, but this is what is often called a landing page. So remind me, have I last month talked much about landing pages at all? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Let's talk a little bit more in detail about landing pages. So we'll see. When you 
when you pin your own pictures, be sure you add a destination URL. Recommendation, not to your home page, but to a landing page. Landing page landing page, a sub page on your website. So the home page, Victor's Bakery, is victorsbakery.com. Landing page is victorsbakery.com slash Sunday sale, whatever it's called, Sunday sale.html, let's say. It's some page, Sunday offer.html. It's some page some sub page on your site some page be, be besides the home page the top page the index page these are pages that you can create on your own site depending on how you've got your site if it's WordPress or Dreamweaver or whatever way you use to make a website there is some way to create a page or a screen on your site the purpose Easier to track statistics. You can view your uh, data in your site uh, of that page. People often um, have the difficulty of seeing what what is real or what works. Uh, because they don't have data. People think, well, uh, I'm going to tweet every day, but is it really working? I have to decide what are the measurements for it to, uh, for me to decide if it works or not. One measurement could be, I made more sales, sure. Or, I got people to visit this certain page, this certain screen on my site. My stats in um, my WordPress, for example, can tell me, you got 50 views on this page. So you can see your your stats. Another purpose, guide people to a result or an action. I'm gonna take the time in my site to design this Sunday Opera page. I'm gonna have some text, some pictures, and I'm gonna say use this coupon when you check out. So that checkout, that, that uh, coupon for the checkout, you can only get to it if you know the link. I'm not going to put this Sunday offer on, a, on, a, on my menu. So another way to say this, uh, a sub page not on the main menu. Your main menu has home, about, contact, products. But this Sunday sale does not appear on that menu. No one knows how to get to it unless they land upon it from some other location, from your Twitter, from your Facebook, from your newsletter, from a little link on your business card, if you're giving a real business card. So a landing page, very valuable for us to guide people, to have sort of like, not really secret, but secret <coughs> content for your potential customers. So I'm uploading a pin, and if people were to click, they're going to go directly to a certain page that I've got set up. Landing page. <coughs> you can create as many as you want, of course. You can put whatever you want on them. Uh, we don't really have, this is not the class to talk about how to create a landing page, because you create your landing page on your website. And everyone's got a different kind of website or no website. So we don't, I don't really go into detail in this class. But just to think about your pins, <coughs> one way to do it is to have the link to go back to your landing page. I click Continue. It's going to ask me what uh, pin board to pin it at. Be careful here. If you've got more than one board, say you've got six boards, 
you have the option to select the board, to save it, and to add a description. I would recommend you add the description, and then you click Save. You cannot select the board, then add the description, then click Save. Selecting the board and clicking Save is the same thing. So I've seen it a lot of times where a person says, okay, this one should go into this board. And they click it thinking that they're only going to select it, then it saves it, and it takes away that screen to add the description. You have to add it then after you've pinned it. So I would say, while you're on this screen, here's the spot for you to add the description to the picture. Then you click the board. What you would write here is, uh, again, assuming that this is a picture of a product that I'm selling, what can I write here to entice people to click the link to go to my site? Let's say our, I'm going to make this up, our award-winning cupcake recipe as a special ingredient. I can write as much as I want, write real sentences, real sentences full of keywords, a hashtag, the same as I would do for the other networks. Not, not just a basic description, but always think in terms about how can I get a click? How can I get a follow? So here I'm using some marketing speak, award-winning. So positivity to guide the thoughts of your viewer. If I'm talking positively about something, I'm starting to create a positive idea of it in the user's mind. I've given the example of Apple. Apple is a technology company. They sell iPhones and all of that. Samsung, they sell smartwatches. They're technology companies. And love them or hate them, Apple is one of the most successful companies in the world. And the big reason of Apple's success is the marketing. There's more than one manufacturer out there nowadays with a smartphone, with a watch, with a computer. This year is the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. There were phones before the iPhone 10 years ago. There were cell phones before the iPhone 10 years ago. Nokia was creating pretty advanced phones years before the iPhone. But the marketing, Nokia didn't invest enough in marketing. Now Nokia, no one really talks about Nokia, but they were the big one 15 years ago. Apple, because a lot of their marketing prowess, they're the big famous phone. And yeah, Samsung is also a big famous phone, and lots of people have Samsung phones. But for example, everything's an iPad, even if it's my Samsung tablet even if it's my Asus tablet. Everything's an iPad because their marketing really capitalized on that. Everything's an iWatch. It's obviously an Apple Watch, but there's an Apple Watch, there's a Motorola Watch. They've gotten such a big market share because of their marketing about how they write about things. And that is a hard thing to teach, but there is the whole marketing majors offered. Um, Apple devices. It's not really a, exactly about showing the device. It's about showing the family enjoying the fireworks and taking a photo with their iPhone. It's about kids running in the park and then you get a notification on your smartwatch to remind you to pick up the birthday present. It's not about the technology itself. It's about the lifestyle. It's about the people. So that is to say again here, what are you going to write here? A picture of our cupcakes. Who cares? I can see a million cupcakes on Pinterest. I want to say, um, try our tasty, uh, healthy cupcakes. And I want to think in those sorts of terms about how will I appeal to people? How will I entice them to view or to click? Because we live in a constant waterfall of social media and, and data and information nowadays. We get so many things out of Facebook, and I've got an email alert, and people are calling me and texting me. My attention is everywhere. 
So if I can focus people's attention with a picture, with some text, I might get a result. After I write some text, I choose the board, save it. We get a pop-up that says, you know, here's someone else's pin board of flowers. You seem to have posted a flower. You may be interested in more flowers. Why not follow someone else's flowers? I can go see it. It goes away, or I can do an ad. Now, that popped up for a moment, and some, suddenly someone else got advertised. I want that. I want that when someone pins their thing, my thing shows up. That will happen. You cannot force it um, for free. You can't force it so that your stuff shows up for people. Uh, you can post and be active, yes. And did you notice that when I posted it, there was the option about promote your pin? That's boosting your post in Pinterest. Pinterest also lets you um, pay to reach more people. And we'll look at that a little bit on the ads. But that's that whole uh, promoting. This is how then you can get your pins to show up for more people, by paying for it. Like we talked previously, and it can be pretty affordable, a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars uh, to reach more people. So this upload image, you have your own images to upload. Here's the other way to do it. If you click on, uh, if you hover over the icon and you select Save From Site, click on that, it may give you a different screen that it says, why don't you use the Pinterest browser button? It may give you a bigger pop-up that gets in your way. Mine is showing it right here. I'll come back to that in a moment. But here now it's saying, okay, put the address of your website. So this assumes you've got a website and something you want to share. Again, think in terms of a landing page. So there's this site. If I were to share or paste the home page, you know, the home page is not enough. Really, usually on the home page, it's going to be a sub page, an actual article or content. So I could post or pin the home page. But more likely, what will be more useful is to have one of these sub pages, one of these landing pages, one of these bits of actual content. This address. If I paste a link to my website. What Pinterest will do is it will scan that page and find the pictures on that page for you to share on Pinterest. Because again, Pinterest is all about visuals. So I wanted to promote, let's say I, I, I this is a how to record a podcast, it doesn't relate to Victor's Bakery. Let's say I wanted to promote this article. I have this website, I want to get hired, I want to do stuff for people I want to get hired, so I'm going to promote this page on Pinterest. So I have to, it has to be because of a picture. Pinterest accepts the picture, not the actual link, not the actual text of the article. The article is long, but Pinterest saw that picture, and these are the pictures at the bottom. So these are the pictures we found on that page which is the one you want to pin. So let's say it, it'll be this one. And then again, you get the option, what is this pin about? Where can you save it? The link will automatically be added. When we uploaded, remember it asked a picture and a link. Because I'm sharing from a website, the link will automatically come through. This pin will have that address, as well as that picture in the description. How to record a podcast. That could be a title of what this pin is. It's active, it's telling you how to do something, how to record a podcast for beginners. 
change that to be whatever I want, whatever catches people's attention. And then I select the board, or I create one. In this case, let me create one. Great how to articles. So I'm going to create this board, and then it, and then pinned it. So you see how it was a good thing that I wrote the description first, then created the board then click save because if I had created the board first and click save it would put my image right away into the board and I'd have to come back to edit the pin. So this is going to pop up to say why not promote it to have more people see it or go see your pin right now or close this. You see, Pinterest is pretty smart. I uploaded a picture of a, of a soundboard. This is where you can plug in microphones and stuff. And, pick, and, and Pinterest sees, recognizes that and shows other musical equipment. So when I uploaded that picture of the tulips, it understood it was some kind of flower, and it showed me more examples of flowers. Well, what's good? the reason that's good for you is because as you upload your content, and other people upload their content, and people search for content, Pinterest is helping you somewhat there to get found, because your picture of that musical instrument will show up in addition to the ones that other people are searching for. And it's not perfect, because right here, these, these are, this is not a musical instrument. These are sunglasses. But overall, all of these work. Not this one. Coins. It's not perfect, but most of them are musical. And then this telephone. Back on my profile. Now I've got these pins that I've uploaded. And these boards look like this. And on this particular design, I have all of these empty spots on that board, which I don't quite like how that looks. And it makes your boards look empty, and why would people follow? So saving from site is the way that I would recommend the most, rather than uploading, because it comes with the history it comes with attribution where did it where where did it originate from mm -hmm. automatically it'll have the link back to your website You get the link automatically back to your site so that people can uh, can find your site easier. That's the way that I would recommend. Now that assumes you've got a website, that assumes you've got some sort of landing page to show, that assumes there's at least one image on that page, because Pinterest is going to scan that page and then add add it when you when you share when you pin question well, once you take on um, your you do a lot of visuals on um, watermarking some of your pictures uh, posting it on Instagram 
Pinterest? Watermarking is useful because um, once your stuff gets added to the Pinterest system or Instagram, it can be reshared very quickly, very easily. And then unless you added you know, a link to it, it's going to get lost. It's going to get away from you, and therefore you're not going to get the credit that, you, that, you, that you're looking for. So I would recommend to add you know, a little bit of text in the corner of what your website is, or a link to your website. I, that's the best one that I would say. Use your graphics software to just add your website in the corner. That way when your photo travels out to more people, it will always come with, with, your, with your link in, attached to the photo. It's not an active link, but people will see that there is that address on the image. So it's a good idea to add your web address as a watermark to your images. It is not active. But people can still visit an address if they type it in their browser. So when I had said earlier that you want to post a little bit more often on Pinterest than the other networks, you have those options, the two to three posts. I would count there the 20% of repurposed content. Other people's posts counts in that. So I'm going to post one thing of mine and one thing of someone else's every week. So two posts. I'm going to build up my content on my profile here, not just once a week posting one thing. This is a place also where you can sort of set up a catalog of your products, so you can use it and upload your content. Linking it, so imagine I have a product in my shopping cart. Uh, that one in my catalog, my store catalog. I can copy the link to that one product, go to Pinterest, save it from the site, and that'll have the direct link to buy that item on Pinterest. Back up over here and make that note. and paste the URL. Copy and paste the direct URL, the direct link to that product to Pinterest. So the various nuances of, of Pinterest are not that complicated to, to, get, to, to get your mind around. Uh, the big idea is to use the Pinterest save 
from sight. Um, be active as usual. Check the um, discovery screen or, or search. You know, we can do the same thing here via search. Let's say I type healthy cookies. It's going to search throughout Pinterest for the keyword healthy and cookies. It's going to show various ways that they can be organized. And again, this is going to be the content of people. Either regular people or businesses. So everyone's got an opinion on cookies. So I have a question about um, the landing page. I always thought, because I always see those on Facebook, when, you know, like it's like a specific landing page. I, I always thought that you had to create that through a landing page company versus just your own website. No, but it's very popular for people to go to a landing page company to buy it that way because they don't know how to do it themselves. Yeah. So you are able to, to do it on your own website depending on what kind of software you have, like WordPress is the one that I recommend. And that way you can create your own website relatively easy and create your own landing pages without having to go off to some other company to pay them to do it. Yeah. So there's no benefit of going through a landing page company directly? It's basically the, the same thing other than... The benefit is your time and effort yeah. and money because I'm busy running my business, I don't know how to make my own landing page, I'm going to hire someone to do it, they know how to do it, and they get it done. And whatever you spent, then you recuperate if you make those sales. So if you, if most of us here are pretty, you know, cost conscious, we want to learn this ourselves, so you can do the landing pages yourself without having to pay others. Yeah, I noticed that like their templates are a little bit easier mm -hmm. to kind of fill in. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so that's a de that's a benefit there. Uh, maybe I don't really I don't have good color sense, or I don't have good graphic design sense. I don't know what works. So yeah, I'll go with the pros and use their templates to get started quicker. So here I'm I'm doing this search, like I said, and uh, for example. You know, I wouldn't think this would even exist, but apparently there's avocado brownies. So you can click to view the pin, and like when we talked about in the other networks, it's not just about who the person or company or whatever posted it, but is who is also looking and commenting and being active on top of this. So maybe I'm not going to get any replies or follow-backs or anything from the Healthy Maven. But if I scroll down and look, depending on the post, you will see the people that actually were active. So T Tiffany and 23 others tried it. So who are those people? You can click and it'll show you. Kelly, Carrie Ann, Mary, Alicia, all of these people clicked to view. They were active. They wrote something. These are the people that you might want to target more than that top level of user. The ones that are, that are appearing on this top level over here with search or all of these, these are the most popular results. You know, I uploaded a picture of a, of a tulip right now, and it probably won't appear here because there's these other ones that have much more activity. 1,400 likes on this. 13,000 on that. So this is a big popularity contest. I just uploaded mine, and I probably won't crack this. Mine won't appear here, because I just don't have popularity. Popularity breeds popularity. I'm not there yet. Well, I wouldn't get discouraged. I would use what I'm seeing here to see who are these people that liked this stuff. These are the people that I might get the follow from, the like from. I can click on this purple tulip, scroll down, I can see the stats. And these are the people that I'm going to start to, to target. So for example here, Haley. They were okay. My little one liked it. They were better after they cooled. So this person, 
I can go to their profile. I can like their comment. Haley got a notification. Victor's Bakery liked your message. Up there on the notification. So then they might say, who's Victor's Bakery? They click on my link, my icon. They see what I'm about. They may like my stuff. They may follow my link. They may follow my account. They may not. The opposite of all of that positivity is nothing happens. They never realize that they got a notification. Some people use these networks and never know that they're getting communicated with, that they got a notification. So uh, some people might see that in the notifications, and then that's it. Great. Move on with my life. What else to do? So it, it doesn't cost anything to see these people that are active and then give some likes. Maybe not really just blindly go down the list and click like to everyone. I guess you could do that. But maybe be a little bit more judicious. They tasted terrible. No sweetness whatsoever. Just a flavorless cake. I don't know if I really want to like that, but one possible reason to look at the activity of other people is they didn't have a good experience with that one. What if I go directly to them, to their profile, and try to interact with them to show that our version of that is much tastier? Once I follow, I have the, the ability to message and all of that. But um, I can start to, you know, right now, uh, Christy got the notification that I followed, and I followed her, so I can start that dialogue. So it's the followers of followers. It's the people that are active. Those are the ones you can reach. Because again, if you're trying to reach in the real world, I'm trying to reach a celebrity, and I want to talk to Gal Gadot. Well, she's not going to give me the time of day, but what if I talk to the person, you know, a, a fan of her? We share the same interest. So I can speak with that fan and get that follow or that like or that activity. So for Pinterest, again, like most networks, it's to be active, to try it out, and that sort of thing. Uh, let's go take a look at socialmediaexaminer.com to see what they, what kind of articles they have about inspiration um, for, for Pinterest. Socialmediaexaminer.com So we've mentioned this site before. And a uh, great website all about um, keeping up to date with social media, socialmediaexaminer.com. I'm going to search um, on the right side, there's categories. I'm going to search for Pinterest. 26 tips to improve your Pinterest marketing. Pinterest marketing, your complete guide. When there's a lot of these articles, one thing that I would try to look at is the date. The newer the article, perhaps the more relevant it is. These 26 tips might have been great one or two years ago, and things change. So looking at the latest versions. Eventually, I found one here. How to improve your Pinterest visibility and engagement from February of this year. Add alt text to provide optimized pin description. It tells you exactly how to do it. Position your most popular boards to increase overall profile engagement. So you're able to actually rearrange these boards. When you've got a lot of boards, the ones that have been popular, you can put them at the top to make them even more popular. People will see the, the stats of those first compared to the ones that are less popular.
use Yotpo to streamline crowdsource image shares. I've never heard of Yotpo, so that might be something new to look into. Here's an example of sizes. Use images with an aspect ratio of 2 to 3, which is basically a taller image and a wider <coughs> image with dimensions of 600 by 900. Now that's not, of course, if, you, if your pins are not that size, you will fail, but it's just that here's, from their data, from their stats, here's a recommendation of images of that size. I'm going to copy this into the notes just to have something there, but any size will work. Maybe your picture has to be wide instead of tall, so it's okay that you don't follow that recommendation. But if you make your content consistent with those sizes, 600 by 900 pixels, um, that could be beneficial to you. So I'm going to wind down the main lecture, but I'll take general questions about um, what we've talked about on Pinterest so far today. Again, the detailed stuff for each person, um, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. But in general, we've looked at various concepts of Pinterest. Any questions so far about what we've done? Yeah. I don't have my notes to refer to from when you talked about Twitter, but on that first day you said that if you were to um, like a tweet that was like the lowest level of engagement and then mm -hmm. if you were to reply to a tweet or to send a survey or include a link or a photo and all that yeah. <coughs> higher levels of engagement and so with uh, this website or with um, Pinterest I mean um, what are those levels would you say? So on most of these uh, you have the They've been changing it because they, they have also, I see that there is a save and there is a comment, but I haven't seen as much about the like. There was a heart I, for a while, maybe just because this account hasn't been verified, but I've seen, maybe you guys see it, if you see it let me know to confirm it, but I've seen that on some of these, I've seen that there is a heart to like. Do any of you... I want to say just got rid of that. Yeah, I but, think so too. Yeah. Because for a long time, that's one of yeah, the it things like you could do. It was a little hard. So they took away the basic ability to like. So what we'll say, uh, Pinterest interactions. Uh, yes, you mean like move over? Yeah. yeah. Interest interactions. We've got uh, like, gone. It used to be one, and that was the lowest level. So, like Twitter and all of that, also, you know, the lowest level is is that is that like you give it a like, you move on. What's next? A higher level here on on Pinterest is a save, which is sort of like a reshare. On Twitter, you have the retweet, and other networks you have the share. Someone else's stuff, I'm going to save it to mine. They call it save, which I think that's totally the wrong word. They should. They used to call it repin. And that makes sense. It was someone else's pin. I'm going to repin their thing to mine. Now it's save. So it makes me think, you know, for beginners, like, what am I saving exactly? What I'm saving their picture? Or what am I doing? So I don't like that term of save. I have a question. Yeah. So we have our, if I save it, where does it go? It doesn't go to my board. It does. It goes to my board. Yeah. Oh, I, that's right. You should have said, you, you have to choose. Let you choose which board you mm -hmm. want to put it on. Yeah. So you might have a board simply for other people's stuff and put all their stuff on that board. But yeah, saving it puts it on your profile, basically. Okay. We have Make It. This is unique to the other networks. We have some of these say Make It, like this one. Okay. Click here to see the website this pin came from. Well, Make It is that it's linked over to someone else's website, and you also have the ability to comment that you've made it. So this is another level. See this went off to Chef de Home to make it, which relates also to comments. So this is 
follow link the comment the follow and here is follow whole account or individual boards So the, the follow is the highest level, of course, because you get more people to follow you. Uh, they pay attention to you. Whenever you post something, you pin something, they can see it. Comment is higher level up here because someone took the time to write something meaningful, hopefully, and you can then further um, get value out of them because then you can follow them, comment to their stuff, and then build this relationship to get something out of it. The make it, I, I would put then, well obviously like then is the lowest level because it doesn't even exist anymore. But uh, the make it and the save, um, those are very similar levels that I would say. I might put them in the same tier because uh, this is giving, this is giving more than getting more. I'm giving them the free publicity of saving their stuff to my account. And I want that in return, but I have to give before I get. And then ultimately, hopefully, I get these followers. So all the networks have these various actions in various ways with various names, with these various values. Other questions on um, Pinterest or etc. So if, uh, if we're coming to the end, I've, I've kind of talked about basically what I wanted to talk about today with Pinterest. We're going to come to the end in a little bit. We'll have a little lab time in case you want to practice this, or I'll turn the printer on if you want to. The stuff from last month is still in that folder. And I would say if you didn't get it last month, get it, because eventually when this semester ends in the summer, that all will get deleted. So if you never saved the notes from last month, you should get them. And I'll turn the printer on if you want to print them. So general questions about what we talked about today? To share in free stream to review again the class, we need to send you an email. Oh, okay, good point uh, about the videos. These videos that I'm recording, th these are going to go into a new playlist, a new link. So you'll have to all send me an email again asking for the videos for part two of the class. The link that I sent you last month was a playlist that had the videos for last month. This month they're going to be in a new playlist, so you need a new link, so send me a new email. They're still there. They will not expire. Yeah, so all of the videos, all of the links from last month will still be there. I'll, I'll never take those down, and you can see them next year if you want. Yeah. Especially when it's so much. Mm -hmm. There's so much to think about and then so much to do. And that way you can go back and, and refresh what we've done previously. So, yeah, send me a new link and you can um, get the new videos. Mm -hmm.